One of the worst concentration camps used by the SS during the Second World War was Gusen. It was a subcamp of the Mauthausen complex and was found in Upper Austria. Initially it was made up of Polish prisoners, but then a large number of other POWs found themselves in prison there. Gusen was close to a number of quarries that produced granite and prisoners would be forced to work grueling long days in which they received incredibly harsh treatment and insufficient food, water and access to sanitation. It was said that the conditions at Gusen were some of the worst of the concentration camp system and that the life expectancy for prisoners was as short at times as just six months. It's estimated that at least 35,000 people died there from the horror and also from a number of mass executions that were carried out. But Gusen had its own unique method of execution, which it used to take the lives of prisoners. The sick SS guards there experimented and invented a new execution method known as the Top Barden, or the Death Bath. But what is the story behind this? Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the Death Baths of Gusen. And remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. As mentioned, as well as the horrific conditions at Gusen, prisoners also had to contend with the executions that occurred there. Many prisoners were transported to Guzen, and because of the sheer number of deaths, inmates kept arriving in a constant stream. The work in the quarries was intended to bring about the death of prisoners, and this work continued until the end of the Second World War. Prisoners were subjected to starvation and incredibly tough forced labour, whilst guards and carpos would be incredibly brutal and would regularly drive prisoners to work harder through violent beatings. The inmates were overseen and watched by guards situated in watchtowers who were armed with machine guns and would turn these on workers if they were not doing what they should have been. Some of the carpos there, such as a man named Wolf, even executed prisoners himself by hanging and then he stamped on their bodies once dead. The carpos, prisoners themselves who were given power to oversee, it appears went power mad and one also took part in gassing prisoners. But people who could not conduct hard labour anymore and the backbreaking work were then killed. Many arrived from nearby camps at Mauthausen to be specifically killed at Gusen. The SS forced inmates to run to test their fitness, and those who did not live up to standard were killed immediately. It was said that 3,000 of the first 10,000 people who arrived there were instantly killed. In August 1940, two prisoners managed to escape and then 800 men in their work group were forced to run carrying rocks, and then they were savagely beaten by the guards, and then they were forced to stand all night in the roll call yard without any food. Because of this, 14 inmates died, and the two who escaped were later caught two days later, and were beaten to death. A crematorium was also found at Guzen, and this was used to help deal with the bodies of the prisoners that died. But it's believed that the SS Commandant, SS Hauptsturmführer, Karl Klimiski, who was known for being incredibly brutal, invented a new execution method that he used at the camp. The Nazis throughout their command of the concentration camps regularly experimented with methods of killing to find out what would be the most efficient way of mass murder. They even tried to experiment with how to dispose of the bodies, and inside of Auschwitz, they even threw grenades and explosives at them, which caused a horrific mess. But inside of Gusen, the execution method that was developed was known as a top barden, or the death baths. Those inmates who were deemed too sick to work and were too unwell were then subject to be bathed in ice-cold water. They were forced to stand under the high-pressure jets of freezing cold water. These cold showers were completely brutal and especially in winter they were deadly within minutes for the prisoners. It's believed that up to 300 inmates were killed in this way being blasted with the cold and freezing high-pressure water and within minutes prisoners who were already weak died on the spot suffering from heart failure, caused by the instant hypothermia. What was worse also was that often the drains got blocked very quickly, as they were not cleaned and also could not cope with the high pressure of water, and with this the showers then quickly filled up. With no escape the prisoners would then sometimes drown inside of the showers, as they could not get out. It has been stated that the drains were deliberately blocked because of this. Anyone who did not want to go into the death baths was bludgeoned and violently beaten by the SS guards. This was an execution method exclusive to Guzen, however it was considered ineffective and too time consuming. There are allegedly also stories of a number of prisoners who somehow managed to survive their ordeal, but they later died from pneumonia. 
they could be held inside there for up to two hours, and usually a trip to the death baths resulted in execution within minutes. The death baths stopped being used in January 1942, and it's believed that around 300 people were executed using them. It was a brutal and sadistic method of execution, which would cause the body to shut down. The SS guards also used the cold weather to execute prisoners, as in winter, many were forced to stand outside their block naked in groups of 150. Half would die each night, and it's believed the rest would die the next day. Guzan was one of the most disgusting concentration camps used by the Third Reich. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.